All right, episode three of 10 Minutes With. Today, we've got Matt Reg. We're going through as many World Strongest Man athletes as possible, getting to know them a little bit, talking about expectations. Welcome, Matt. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, we didn't cross paths likely because of COVID, hey, when I was down in Australia? Uh, yeah, that would have been back in 2020, I yeah. think. Yeah, 2020, yeah. 2021. Yeah, but uh, I've seen you for a very long time. I've seen yeah. you. Your training videos, some of the stuff you post is absolutely bizarre. <laughs> so Thank you. <laughs> you were um, you're coached by Shane, is that right? Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, so I, yeah. I was talking with Shane before OSG, and correct me if I'm wrong, he, he told you, do a stone to shoulder, and the first time you tried it, did you hit a you hit a two hundred? Oh, uh, that was a um, uh, one ninety five. Yeah, <laughs> I think that was my um trying that event. That was, that was a pretty good event. Yeah, stone yeah. to shoulder. Yeah, no kidding, because there's not many people in the world who could get one ninety five to their shoulder. <laughs> yeah, and I think at the time I didn't really realize how good that was, but it it was um it felt good. Yeah. yeah. And the next stone that we had was a 220. You know, that's a huge 220. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Eh? And then you, you, last week, or it might have been two weeks ago, you absolutely flexed on everyone and did a 170 Viper triple. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was, yeah. I think uh, coming, um, they come kind of natural to me because I, I'm, I, I'm a, like a strict presser. I struck a lot, so I think viper pressing come, comes natural to me. Yeah. Tell me your max. What's your max strict press ever? Um, two hundred kgs. Strict. Yeah, strict. So I was um I was actually prepping for the Arnold's back in twenty twenty. Yeah. This was before um COVID happened, and um we we'll, we'll, there was Max Log in that show, so I was like prepping every week, building up to a heavy single and um. I got 195 one week, and then the following week, I, I ended up getting 200. So that was, um, that was, so that's, that's just the biggest slog I've done today was when I was prepping for that show back in yeah. 2020. But you, you seem to always strict press. Is that just, that's just what you do? You don't push uh, press? Yeah, I, I, I feel like I'm more consistent, um, strict pressing, and that doesn't hurt my knees as well. Um, there's been times where I'll fail like a, I'll fail a push press and then let's I'll literally strip the weight and then rebuild back up and I'll get it so easy just by strict pressing. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know why that happens. But it yeah. always seems that yeah, so I, I'm sure. stuck to, like stuck to what I've been good at. So yeah, yeah, well, strong as hell, mate. Then your online qualifier for LSG last year, what was your deadlift? I remember that being pretty crazy as well. Uh, that was four oh four for three. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was a short prep, like a short, like what three week, four weeks of prepping. Mm -hmm. But um, that was suited, and that was touch and go. Touch and go was a bit easier, but um, it, it felt so off because like you have to like time the bounce, and then if you don't like, time it properly, it'll, it'll throw you off. Yeah, yeah. of course, of course. Yeah. Okay, now there's a lot of crazy numbers for you. Where does it? What's what's your weakness? What do you have to work on? Um, my weakness would probably be uh, it's like it's more technical for me because um, will be the dumbbell. Sure. Uh, I feel like it's a huge weakness for me. So if there's a dumbbell in any comp, you know I'll kind of have to work hard to get hard to kind of um get the most points I can out of that event. But yeah, that's one thing I really work on is my dumbbell. Yeah. Now you've got a in the heats. We've got no dumbbell, but we've got max dumbbell in the finals, which yeah. you're probably happy about. I assume this year you're going. If I make it to the finals, this is a successful year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That that's what I'm aiming for. Is um, kind of just fucking dominating the final or dominating the heats, and then go straight into the finals. Ah, uh, that's just kind of what I've got like set in my head. Okay. Uh, you said, you said no stone off. Yeah, oh well in a perfect world I don't want to do stone off, but <laughs> if, I to, 
<laughs> yeah. join, join the club. I'm not sure any of us want to do it. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, then let's talk about those heat events then. We've got, um, we kick it off with the loading medley. Are you fast? Um, yeah. Can be, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. sure. Okay, so good at that. Obviously, your yeah. deadlift's really good. Your log is really quite good. Your how is your front carries? Like, how do you think you'll go on the opponents? So we've we've been training hard, trying to push my opponents up, especially the front carrying. Huh. Uh, like we're front squatting. Um, we're even doing like virtual split squats, like anything just to kind of help with my front carries. Um, it's improved so like, over the last month. So I'm hoping I do uh, damage control on the cone as well. Yeah. Um, okay. It should, should be put, yeah. Even if you did get into the stone off, I was talking to someone yesterday or two days ago. You're going to be a problem in the stone off because your stones are so good. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I um been up against anyone that's kind of um like really good. I'm not sure. I, I think I was, I'm not sure what the other guys did like their times were. I, I can't remember. And what happened at OSG? I know I won that event, but I'm not sure what the other guys ended up doing. Yeah, so at OSG, you had stones from 136 to 193, and you got six in 43 seconds. One guy, um, Oscar, who just won Arnold's amateur, he was three seconds behind you, and then you had a 10 oh, yeah. you had a 10 second gap on Spencer Remick, who's shown at the top level that he is competent at stones so you, you'd be one of those guys where if you look in a group you're thinking who do i not want to face in a stone off that's probably you now if we flip that on its head who do you not want to have in your group who do you think that's a problem i don't even know to be honest like, <laughs> i mean i think there's probably like about six guys I know from the top of my head that we'll probably just easily make it through. Um, honestly, I'm not really quite fast with the who I have in my in my groups. Like, I just got to perform and do the best I can. Yeah. What? 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 I will. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Okay, so heat events are all pretty good. The goal is to make it through the finals. In a perfect world, you don't have to do the stone off. But what do you what do you expect to happen if it was run a thousand times over? How does Matt Reg place at World Strongest Man? Huh. If I make it to the finals, or no? Do you think you it, a thousand times over? Do you make it to the finals? And what would you place if you did make it to the finals? In my head, I, I in my head I want to say top five, but. Oh, I like it though. I like it. Confidence. I, I would have said. Like, oh, I've I've always had high expectations of myself. Like, so like even even going to OSG, like I wanted to win it. Like that was the only thing in my mind. Like, and I was like, I know I came third, but I was like disappointed still. Yeah. <laughs> but it, yeah. I had to like, um, take it in. But it is what it is. Um, let's talk about that a bit because you were third and you were. A few points behind second, who was a few points behind first. Now, Viking Press is surprising because that's where you lost most of the points. That's where you lost a, a good chunk anyway. For yeah, yeah. Strong shoulders. Tell, what happened there? Um, it's funny because, like, I, I messaged my coach straight after the Viking and I, I was, like, gutted because I knew I could have done a lot better. But I think I just wasn't ready. Like, my body wasn't ready. I was, like, dehydrated, like, I wasn't taking in any water, wasn't eating properly. Um, it was like a lot of things. I mean, it, it's all excuses though, but like it is what it is. Like I, I, I know I could have done a lot better in the Viking press. So after that event, I like I literally just like gulled like water after water, um, power A's, and I felt so much better. Like it was crazy. Eh? Like I was, I felt like a like a new person. Like after drinking so much water and shit, eh? yeah. yeah. It was I, I was like, I didn't realize how dehydrated I was there um, yeah. after that first event. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, I was kind of, I, I was gutted, but like, I, well, I think I got 11 reps, eh? and then, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Mate, because all I'm nope. saying, on paper, on paper, there's there's very little reason to believe you shouldn't be confident to do very well. Yeah, I I, I actually walked into that event wanting to win it. So I was like, well, like, I was very really annoyed, like, what happened? And then, but even yeah. to Worlds, like, even to Worlds, same thing. You, you look at some of the stuff you've done on paper, and you're an absolute animal. So it'd be really, really cool to see what you're able to do um now if if you had to finish the sentence i will surprise people with what are you going to surprise people with how do you finish the sentence uh so i got going into worlds yeah um surprise people by making them to the finals i guess um yeah, yeah I, I think that's like the only thing in my mind i think that's um yeah making them and then doing the best as I can in the finals. Um, yeah, I, I kind of, I, I kind of don't want to, like, say if I don't make it, because I, I, I really want to make it, and my expectations are to make it. So if I don't make it, it'll kind of, I don't know. I need to try to, like, not get too upset about it. Like, if I don't make it, yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah, of yeah. course, of course. Yeah, trying to have fun in the meantime, of course. Um, yeah. What do you think your key to success to doing well at World's Strongest Man is? Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> Can I tell you what Shane would say? Sorry? Can I tell you what Shane would say? <laughs> I think I probably know what he would, what would he say. Shane. <laughs> I think... I think if if you are confident in yourself and you keep the same confidence you have now throughout the competition, you're going to be really good. You're going to be hard to beat in a lot of things. Yeah. Staying confident, yeah. 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 Um, okay, so this year you haven't talked about expecting to win World's Strongest Man, but I, I assume that at some stage that is a goal of yours. Is that right? Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess that's... Kind of everyone's end game is to um to win worlds. Um yeah. So if if you were to say like what year would you guess that you're going to win World's Strongest Man? 2025. Cool. I'd say would probably be the best chances, like considering where I am right now, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, you've had you've had a big run up to right now though, eh? Because your first uh, your first um, log on Strongman Archives is back all the way in 2016. Yeah, oh, that was the um, Arnold Amateur, I think. Yeah, 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 over in Australia, which oh, oh. the one in Ohio from? was that in Ohio? Yeah, it was. Oh, it, was, it was the Amateur Comp. Oh, mate, you came third. Yeah, behind only Evgeny Markov and, and Hajj. I don't know who Hajj is, but Evgeny Markov. Wow, that's mm. really cool. Mate, hey, that's the awesome. Level, um, the level now is, like, way a lot more bigger than what it was back then. Um, I wouldn't downplay that. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Podium at Arnold World Championships. Awesome. I've got one more question for you, Matt, and then I'm going to let you go. What does it mean to you to be strong? Um, man, I think I'm honestly, I, I think I'm just addicted to being strong. And <laughs> like, yeah, I've, I've kind of always wanted to um pursue like a uh like a strength career, and um I don't know. I think I'm just kind of I found strong, man. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Awesome. Well, yeah, I'm just I'm just addicted to getting stronger. That's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. Mate, I think you're you're a really exciting one to watch. I'm very excited to see you down in Myrtle Beach. Keep training hard, stay safe, and very, very excited to see what you can do down there. Thank you, you too. All right, we'll I'll see you. Sweet. <laughs>